the, the particular interest I had in this inquiry was in relation to children who are separated from their families. And the take that in particular the Home Office have about reuniting them with their loved ones. There seems to be a disconnect when the Home Secretary told us that the interests of a child are paramount, when the evidence we heard rather suggests that the children were treated as immigrants before they were treated as children. There was a particularly upsetting vision of a little boy who had a very close relationship with his grandmother and her being deported when it was clearly in his best interest, not even in his paramount interest, but he shouldn't be separated from someone who he relied on so closely. There were other incidents which were heartbreaking. One in particular involved a child who thought because he'd only seen his father from the waist upwards, but he didn't have legs and that he wasn't real. All of us understand, having suffered isolation in COVID, just how much physical presence means, and in particular to young developing adults. Given my son's needs, talking through a computer was many times very <coughs> stressful for him and for me. Mm. Um, some examples from other families. One community member, member's child, communicated with his father solely through Skype. The child mm. didn't believe his dad had legs mm. because she'd only ever seen the upper half mm. of his body. Another child believed his father lived in the computer. Mm. Technology mm. helps, but it really is just a plaster on a gaping wound, which takes mm. a long, long time to heal. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I was communicating with her through WhatsApp because uh, during the pandemic, uh, Morocco's borders were closed, so the only option was for her to come to England. Mm. And, um, and uh, I was, with, during this communication, and because of this delay, I was, I, we reached the point when she told me that everything is a lie and uh, is, in, is not possible in a country like you, in a country like, uh, like the UK, to, uh, uh, an application for the visa to take so long. So at the end, I sent, this is the reason that I sent, uh, I sent to court the Home Office just to prove to my wife that it's not, some, it's not a simulation and is a really delay from the home office and I still want her because her and even her family were, were thinking that I don't want her anymore and I'm trying to find excuses oh. and excuses to with this delay and that's why she can't come here. Okay. And at the end I, I, I sent the home office to court just to prove that it's because of them to have a proof for my wife uh, to, show that, to show her that nothing changed and, uh, and I'm still fighting for her.